When animation techniques have come so far as to produce lifelike visual effects and breathtaking scenes from modern video games, it's easy to forget where the roots of the animation form were. Often cited as the Bible of Animation, the book written by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnson pioneered the 12 principles of animation. Despite being released in 1981, the techniques written there are still widely used today in all forms of animation. The principles used together produce the illusion of characters adhering to the laws of physics and purposefully altering these techniques can either make a character hyperrealistic or more of a cartoon hyperbole. When cartoonizing a character, the most important principles to focus on are staging, appeal, timing, moving holds, anticipation, and squash and stretch. In essence, each of these techniques work to exaggerate the motion, which in of itself is another vital technique. Timing works to communicate certain aspects of a character. By shifting how the audience would expect a certain thing to move, the animator can subvert the expectation on the viewer and make it move similar to something else. In a very realistic jump, the character bends down slightly and is consistently acted upon by gravity during their jump, which brings them to the ground. By incorporating moving holes to adjust the timing, you can shift the anticipation provided to the audience. In a cartoon jump, if moving holes are incorporated in the windup, it anticipates a larger jump. Similarly, you would expect them to reach a higher point in the air. In this way, you can even exaggerate the action further by keeping them in the air longer than the audience expects. By having the character react in a similar way to the audience, you can bring about similar qualities between the audience and the animation, thus improving the appeal of the character. By utilizing squash and stretch to have the character stretch towards the ground and squash at the heavy impact, you essentially introduce anticipation to the form. It looks as if the character has been stretched like a rubber band, which you would expect to spring back into place and squash once let go. Similarly, staging needs to be effectively used to draw the audience's eye to the most important aspect of the scene. If the character is going to jump really high, a strategy could be to zoom out on the scene. This would also work to anticipate how, the, how high the jump would be, as the audience would understand that the top of the image, which begins empty, will have movement to focus on later. Furthermore, these techniques can be utilized to create striking identifiability in character movement. Zoe from League of Legends has a very unique appeal to her walk. Her appeal comes from the childlike wonder instilled in all of her movement. She takes huge strides out of excitement and holds her hands out to feel the air breeze through her fingers. Especially since her character often flies, she spends a large majority of her movement floating through the air. This is especially, this is especially shown through easing into her highest position, but then extremely quickly reaching her foot to the floor. The secondary action of her arms bouncing up and down exaggerates the weight with which she hits the ground. She falls to the ground with her essentially jumping on each step. Drag, follow through, and overlapping action can most clearly be seen in the way her head moves in reaction to the driving force of her huge strides. Her head bounces up and overlaps with the main action of her running. This movement follows through after the main action of the body rising up to the air, but slightly drags behind. By understanding and effectively varying these 12 principles, animators can achieve an infinitely wide range of unique and stylized characters.